This one is obviously not going to be a long one, but I'm here to give you guys something. I know there's a lot of people who are putting trust on the enemy. Expect to get something good off this. But understand something. The enemy does not and will not care how many who follow him. But I will say this. Be careful. He doesn't promise. He breaks it. The enemy I refer to is the one in charge of everything. The one who tries to claim everything to himself. The one who thinks he owns you. For I say not. He does not own you. We control them. The Lord has given us authority to control demons and devils. So what does this mean? It means you have the advantage to beat the devil and his minions. That's all it is. You are protected. You cannot be harmed. If you give yourself to the Lord himself, he will be there. The question is, are you willing to respond? That is the question. Every day I deal with the enemy, for he doesn't get it, never will, which is why pride is the main reason why it brings humiliation and circles him and burns him. You are more better than him. The enemy knows it, that you can beat him at his own game. You have to prove that strength. You have to show him that you're not afraid. Stand and fight along with the chosen. We are here to make a change for all. God wants to show you things. He wants to show you more. This is about God's love. Would you accept the love that the Lord will hand you? Let him show you things you've never seen before. Things that the enemy will never be able to show. Trust in God. Trust in his son, Jesus Christ. Trust our words as chosen. We speak nothing but truth. And we work hard to reveal the truth. It's our job when the Lord gives us a mission and task. We don't need to lie to you. Trust our words. We will bring promises. We will bring our words. Just give us your word. You're willing to join us in this fight so the Lord can reveal all to come. Believe me when I say this. You can trust God himself and his son. Events are coming. That's all you need to know. May the world give answers, for there is time before it's too late. In Jesus, a higher power is above. May we begin the day.